What's going on, everybody? And welcome to semifinals of the APDL Emerald League, hosted by yours truly. This week, we are up against JK once again and his Minneapolis Mudsdales. We played just two weeks ago, and he got the best of us during the regular season, so now it's time for a little bit of revenge. We're going to cut to a quick team builder, but if you'd like to skip ahead to the match, you can do so at the timestamp shown on screen. But without further ado, let's get into it. JK's team sports a terrifying Raincore in addition to Terra Luxray and various other threats, so it's no wonder he's undefeated this season. So, let's start by building a dedicated lead. And that is going to be Choice Scarf Noivern. I'm a little scared of Sash or Bombi lead to set up sticky webs, so I want to be able to counter that and I think I have just the thing. I mix Scarf this week running Dual Wing Beat, as I can break Rabombi's Sash with the first hit and KO it with the second to keep webs off my team. In addition, I'm also running U-Turn for Pivot, and my two strongest stab options in Hurricane and Draco Meteor. Now, let's add a little bit more damage in, but this time on the physical side. So we're doing that by going Choice Banded Kamala this week, as I wanted something with good coverage. With our max attack, we do boatloads of damage with Stab Body Slam, Strong Wood Hammer, Earthquake, which is great into multiple mons, and Terra Dark Boosted Sucker Punch to help with fast Glass Cannon mons such as Floatzel, Raichu, and even Luxray. My opponent really likes his Revivru, and I want more physical offense. So let's go with Dante the Tauros this week rocking a Mirror Herb. You might be thinking that Tauros has a not so great matchup into the rain, to which I would agree. However, the upside of this set and its better matchups make it worthwhile. With my Mirror Herb, I can copy a Shift Gear boost from Revivroom, getting a plus one boost to my attack and plus two boost to my speed. Then, it's off to the races with Earthquake and Stab Close Combats and Flare Blitzes. For my last move, I'm going with Bulk Up, just in case I can squeeze in another boost. So now that we have reliable offense, let's build some reliable utility. And we're doing that with Empoleon this week. Not only is my Steel and Water Typing great into my opponent's team, Rocks also look incredibly good as well. Dawnfang gave me a really hard time in our last match, so my plan is to swap Empoleon in on Earthquake with my Air Balloon. I can avoid the hit and set up my hazards afterwards. I'm also running Earthquake for Volcanion, Raichu, and Revivroom, as well as Surf for Chip and Flip Turn for Momentum. With just two months to go, I really want a reliable answer to Terra Normal Guts boosted Luxray, and a little bit of a surprise factor. So I'm going with Choice Scarf for a Giraffe this week as it outspeeds my opponent's entire team except Raichu, Floatzel, and Rabombi. With my Armor Tail ability, my opponent also won't be able to click boosted quick attacks or Aqua Jets, which can throw my opponent off as I'm sure he's planning for me to be Sap Sipper in this game. For my moveset, I'm rocking Energy Ball and Thunderbolt for coverage, Psychic for stab damage into everything except Quillfish, and Trick to pass an item onto some of his bulkier mons that don't appreciate being locked into a move. For my last mon, I wanted a little bit more coverage for Luxury and I needed a counter rain option. So we're going with Sight in the Gastrodon once again, rocking a Chillon Berry this week. With my berry, I can live a Terra Normal Guts boosted facade from Luxray comfortably and return massive damage with counter. I'll also be running Recover for longevity, Surf for damage, and Mudshot for a little bit of speed control. So there's my team for semifinals of the APDL Emerald League. Let me know what you guys think, and without further ado, let's get into the battle. This is how we're going to rock. So best of luck to my opponent. Josh and I always have fantastic games. And this one is for a spot in the finals. He played in the finals during TPL, our last Wi-Fi season. So we're looking to uh, be the underdog here. So good luck, have fun, like we said. No hacks, and let's do it. All right. He's going to start Politoed. That's fine. So a Politoed lead seems okay. Um... He knows I am Infiltrator now because I did not go for a Frisk. I do not want to risk him going for an Ice Beam. Oh, he's Water Absorb. Okay. That did some interesting damage as well. Uh, I'm not sure if he's really bulky. He might be Offensive Politoed. Um, I think Empoleon could be a really good switch here. Alternatively, we could go to Fur Giraffe and we could click Energy Ball for pretty much free. Um, I'm not sure what else he wants to do. We could also go Gastrodon, which I kind of like the most. So that's what we'll do. He did not switch, so that's good news for us. He goes for an Ice Beam, sure. 313 off Ice Beam to my Gastrodon. Um, hard to say. He's got a little bit of special attack investment. So that's good to know. Uh, what is the likely switch here? He's Water Absorb. 
I could just click recover once. Uh, alternatively, we could go for like a mud shot to slow him down. We could also double. What's the switch here? Um, what's the switch here? Rebombi could be a switch. We could also go in Poli and get up rocks. Mm, it's tricky. It's tricky. Uh, I think I'll maybe just mud shot once. We'll get a little bit of speed control. He's going to ice beam again. That's fine. So he's really valuing the chip damage on me. I'm just going to make him a little bit slower. He could be, like, choiced in some regard, which would be really funny. Uh, but I'll go for a recover. So he's at minus one. Uh, if he is min speed polytoed, I should maybe not be faster, actually. <laughs> um, he'll be marginally faster than me, so it's hard to tell if he's, like, some random choice scarf polytoed. Can scarf polytoed? Scarf polytoed can be faster than my Neuvern, I believe. Oh, wait, okay, so he's not scarfed. But we're going to recover on up. And we're going to be chilling. So, he could be Assault Vest, actually. That would make a lot of sense. I could recover again. Uh, he could expect to recover again. Uh, I think I'll actually Mud Shot again here. Just in case he wants to switch. Uh, if he stays in, which he does, uh, he'll be slower than us this time around. And then I can go ahead and click Recover. So, we're going to chip him down. He's minus two speed now. So, I should definitely probably be faster this time around. We'll go for a recover. Unless he's max speed. <laughs> if he's max speed, uh, that's a wild set from him right away. It's a really fun lead, though. He did not bring rain. But I felt like I had to bring Gastrodon. Okay. So we'll recover on up. Oh, he endeavors me. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, how do we want to approach this, then? He could just endeavor again. Um, if he endeavors again... Yeah, this screams Assault Vest then, right? This screams Assault Vest then, yeah? Uh, I could go Komala. Which I kind of like. And then I get just a really, really big hit off. Uh, it is going to be a little awkward now. I should be able to live a facade from Luxray at the HP I am with my Chalamberry still. But we're going to have to be really careful. So... Just EPs, a little bit of damage, nothing too crazy. Uh, I could Woodhammer here. Woodhammer looks really strong. Earthquake also looks really good. Uh, if I'm him, what's the switch in here? Potentially Revivroom. Uh, if he is Air Balloon, I actually think I just want to go for a Body Slam. Uh, I don't need to Terra yet. I think I'll just Body Slam. I'm Choice Bandit, so this is fine. So, hopefully he's, like, Rev of Room. I pop a Balloon on him, and then I can switch. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Are you Air Balloon? You are not. Get a little bit of damage off. Nice. No Para. This is the freest Tauros ever. Go for a Shift Gear. If he goes for Shift Gear here... We're looking really good. If he goes for a move, it's still okay. So out comes my Tauros. He is not clear amulet or anything. He toxic spikes. Okay, good play. Yep, no muck, so T spikes is a very good play. Um, so from here then, Flare Blitz looks really strong. Flare Blitz looks really free, <laughs> actually. I could bulk, actually. I kind of like bulk up a little bit more. I should be able to live hits from Rabombi. Uh, and he definitely doesn't want to hard swap Rabombi, right? I'm going to bulk up. Let's do it once and see what we can get out of it. Uh, it should be faster than everything except the Rabombi. Barring any... Well, actually, the Raichu will be faster. But uh, I find it hard to believe that you would ever hard Raichu here. So we're going to get a bulk up off. And we're going to see what we can do from here. So T-Spikes are a little annoying. Uh, but I don't think it's the end of the world, per se. So we'll see what happens. Okay, I go for a bulk. I am faster. So he's not some random spikes scarf set. And he high horsepowers me. 
That does nothing. Okay. Oh man, I really wish I had Trailblaze on this thing now. Uh, I'll go ahead and click Earthquake this time around. Seems to be my best play. He shook a berry. This should still kill. Like, I, I don't anticipate you to live. Oh wow, you're very bulky then. You're very bulky. I guess I should have... Oh, we parting shots. Okay. So, I'm neutral attack. I'm plus one defense still. And he gets a free switch here. He could go... It's either Raichu or Rabombi here. It's either Raichu or Rabombi here. So, a fun set from him. Finally, a, a utility Revavroom. That's pretty cool. So a lot of vying for position going. Uh, maybe I should have just clicked Flare Blitz, but it, like EQ was just the better neutral play. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe Flare Blitz was just better. That could have been way better for me. Oh well. Okay, out comes Rebombi. Rebombi. I live any hit. Can I Flare Blitz? If you get up webs, am I sad? Not entirely. I think I Flare Blitz. If he wants to get up webs, he can. Uh, unless he's like Specs. He's just going to U-turn. Okay. So, hoping to uh, scare me out there, and he didn't. So, we're going to get some big damage on something. We're going to get some really big damage on something. He's got to know, like, my whole moveset. Rev of Rim. Okay, so Rev is going to die. So Rev goes 0-1. And Tauros goes 1-0. Uh, does the recoil put me in range? 194. 62%. Psychic noise or psychic would be close to a KO from here. But he might not have it. I don't know if you want Psychic Move because, like, my Furry Giraffe, my Veluza, my Muck, like, nothing on my, like, my Empoleon. Yeah, you wouldn't run Psychic Move on that, so. And I should be just out of Moonblast range, or very close to it, depending on the set. So I might be comfortable just to stay in here and click buttons until Tauros dies, because the chip damage is valuable enough. for the rest of my team. So things are looking okay so far. The only thing that I wish was going a little bit better is I wish I had a little bit more HP on my Gastrodon, but that's okay. Okay, so Raichu comes out. Uh, he could be Surf. Could be Surf Raichu. Uh, Surf Raichu definitely knocks me out. Uh, can Noivern eat? Specs Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Let's get Surf up here as well. Uh, if he Specs, Surf should do about 25% to my Noivern. Uh, and I do live Thunderbolt. I am Scarfed, so I could pivot out. I'm going to preserve my Tauros for a little while longer. Because it looks pretty good against Luxray. If I can get Intimidate on Luxray later on, it actually looks really good. Um, if he is like some sort of subset that's still fine for me because i have infiltrator on my noivern so my moves can still go straight through he's gonna grass now okay expecting gastrodon so that does nothing to me could just pivot out kind of like maybe just going for a wing beat i could go for a hurricane as well uh i really don't want because he's gonna be static yeah He's going to be static. What do you go here? I think... With with me being Scarf, I feel like I can roll the dice on a static proc once. Because I don't think you want to lose Raichu. Um, and he should know I'm... Well, I guess he doesn't know that I'm Scarf, right? So... Things get a little interesting for him here. Ideally, he goes Rabombi expecting Draco Meteor. And we break any potential sash on that. Okay, perfect. So, what are we going to see? We're going to see Politoed. Okay. That's fine. Big U-turn comes out. 
Big U-turn comes out. Okay, so this thing does have Endeavor. Uh, this is a good opportunity for me, though. Um, we want something to answer Rabombi. I could go into Gastrodon, potentially, but, like, it, it's just not worth it. I think this is as good a time as ever for me to go into... Maybe... If you're a Salt Vest Politoed... Let's just say you're Max Bedef. AV Politoed. I have 30 seconds, so we got plenty of time. Um, my Giraffe doesn't do anything. I think I have to go Komala. I think that that makes the most sense here. Because Body Slimes are just free, right? Body Slimes are just free. We are comatose. I cannot get staticked by Raichu coming back in. Uh, and Body Slam is free against literally the whole team now that River Room is gone. So we get choice banded Body Slams in here. Politoed should die if he stays in. Politoed should die if he stays in here. He's switching. Okay. What is it? Could be Luxray for Intimidate. Dawn Fan. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we'll find out what kind of Dawn Fan you are. Bonk. That's some good damage. And we do get a Para. That's fantastic. Um, so this tells me, oh, he's Lumberry, <laughs> Lumberry Don fans, a very, very good play. Uh, he's max HP, he's like max, <laughs> Jesus, max HP defense. Um, so I'm actually going to go and pull in here on a potential earthquake. Uh, he likely just hits knockoff, but I get a free momentum move afterwards. He's keeping Polytoad alive as long as possible to deal with my Empoleon and potentially pivoting in and out with that, which is really, really good for him. Yeah. But ideally, I mean, if he's smart, he probably just goes for rocks. Yeah. Yeah, I don't so we'll see what happens. Empo comes out. I am Air Balloon. And there's the EQ. Perfect. Okay, so I feel safe here to get up my rocks. So that's what I'm going to do potentially on... Um, the Polito coming back in here. So we're going to start punishing some of these switch-ins. If Rabambi is not Boots, we can break Sashes there. If Raichu is Sash, we can break Sashes there. We can get Chip on this entire team coming in. And if he wants to sit in and go for like a potential Rapid Spin afterwards, that's fine too. Uh, so I am almost positive he's going Politoed. I'm almost positive he goes Politoed here. I don't think I kill with Earthquake. Although my U-turns on my Noivern were doing some fair damage, right? Yeah, no, there's no way that I kill him. He's thinking really hard. It's either he goes for a move expecting me to go for rocks, or he loses Donphan potentially to a Surf. Yeah, I think it's... Josh is too safe of a player to, to risk that there. So, yep, out comes Politoed. He's at half. My Noivern was doing how much damage with U-turns? Uh, there's, there's just no universe where, <laughs> where this works out super well for me. So he could read this play and double, but I am just going to go back into my killaboom because these are just free moves that I can click. So, and I should not die to anything. If he doubles here, great play. Endeavor. Okay, perfect. That's fine. I think it's just Body Slam every time. Like, I, I really want to click Woodhammer on potentially Donphan coming back, but it's just, like, not worth potentially not getting, like, any damage on Rabombi. <laughs> like, I'm not convinced Rabombi even lives a hit now if it's not Boots. Well, if it's Boots, he probably just dies, to be honest. So he can't be willy-nilly switching that thing in. Yeah, Rabombi will straight up die. If he's Sash, it'll break and he'll die. If he's Boots, he's not Sash, and he'll die. So, he's got to give me Politoed, which is fantastic. Now my Empoleon gets to flip turn for free. So, Politoed goes down 0-1. Kamala goes 1-0. Okay. Okay. So, now we need to be really careful not to lose to, like, Quiver Dance for Bombi or, like, Luxray. <laughs> yeah, especially. 
Pointed stones dug in. Hard to say what you are right away. Um, Luxray, you are Terran normal. You have no item right now. Yeah. I might be able to live any one hit. And I could always swap out and go for Sucker afterwards in case he wants to Trailblaze or something. I think I'm going to go for my damage. Unless he clicks Terra Normal Facade, 52 to 62 if he's max attack Jolly. I may have given Kamala a bit preemptively, but I think I can win without it. So, I think it's okay. We'll see. Oh, I'm faster. Huge. Oh, and we get a para. Let's go. Let's go. I would say I feel bad about it, but we're in playoffs, baby. And we live. Fantastic. So we're faster this time around, too. Let's frickin' go, Killaboom. Big quick attack, yeah. So he'll knock me out here. That's fine. He crits me. That's okay. Kamala, you did way more than I could have ever asked of you. So Luxray goes 1-0. Uh, so at this point now, it's time to just go for a giraffe and click Psychic, I think. Uh, yeah, Psychic looks good. I'm armor, armor Tail, so he can't quick attack me. So I should be able to just pick up some damage or a kill on this thing. We're looking really, really solid. Toxic Spikes do affect me, which is a little unfortunate. But we're chilling. Uh, so I click Psychic. His only play here is to quick attack. <laughs> so he's going to be sorely disappointed when he finds out I'm Armor Tail. He would 100% expect me to be Sap Sipper to protect my Gastrodon, but this is precisely the situation I was looking to avoid. Luxray is a really big threat to my team, so I wanted to bring plenty of countermeasures to help me deal with it. So. And he's not going to know that I'm Scarfed. So we're looking really, really good. Now he's now he's playing the 50-50 if I'm Sap Sipper or Armored Tail. Okay. And we do pick up a KO. So awesome. Okay. So your offense is limited to Raichu and Rabombi now. This might be a situation... Rabombi is fast. Okay, so my Noivern looks incredible. It did, it doesn't work. We need to pick up damage on Raichu. We need to pick up a little bit of damage Goodbye. on Rabombi as well. So, but we can play for a Scarf Noivern endgame. Out comes Rabombi, okay. So I am Scarfed. He does take damage. Now this is where things get a little scary, right? For a giraffe. Rabombi. I do a lot of damage with Psychic. Uh, this actually has a chance to kill him. If he is not uh, invested. And I should not be faster than max speed. Uh, but I should be able to live Bug Buzz. Unless your specs. Bug... Buzz. 97% uh, is the max roll. I'm at 340. I'm at 88. If he specs, it'll be a roll. Dang. Okay. So for a draft, goes 1 1. For Bombi, goes 1 0. Uh, okay. So now what do we do from here? Uh. Actually, there's a chance he might not be Specs, actually, with that damage as well. Hmm. Empoleon looks pretty good to click Surf. Gastrodon does not look good for Grass-type move. I think I have to go Noivern here. This is going to be close. I'm playing a little recklessly in my endgame here. I need to be a little bit more careful. Uh, I'm clicking... Dual wing beat here. I'm hoping that I have lulled him into a bit of a false sense of security here. I need to keep Noivern around to deal with Robombi. It's gonna be tricky because if he's Quiver Dance, like I could just lose. I need to whittle him down a little bit. Okay, he's switching. He knows I'm Scarf. Don fan. Right you. Okay. Uh, a para here would be brutal. Okay. 
Thing is, I don't have great switch-ins. I didn't make this play last time. I will this time. Man, Raichu, <laughs> Raichu and Rabambi's speed tier is just so crazy. Uh, I gotta figure out how to navigate this. I have to favor, like, figure out how to navigate this. It's gonna be tricky now. It's gonna be close. I shouldn't have rolled the dice on my on my giraffe, but I, I mean, it felt necessary. I'm not faster than Raichu or the Rabambi with my scarf, so it's like it is what it is. So. We'll see. So he's Bug Buzz. What else was he? I don't know that I saw a move last time, right? Or Grass Knot, I think it was last time, potentially. So we do get poisoned. I will die to Grass Knot, but Gastrodon doesn't really serve a, a huge purpose, yeah, in this endgame here. So him going for that makes me believe that he's not, like, specs or anything. Gastrodon goes a 1. Hmm. How do I got to do this? It, it's going to come down to predictions. It's going to come down to predictions. Hurricane is objectively my best play here. If I miss, it's tragic. Draco is also a good play. I think I have to Hurricane. Shame on me for bringing in accurate moves, because I know I'm going to miss. I'm never lucky. But this is just the best set that I could think of to bring in this game. Go Rabambi. This would be huge. Please connect. Please. Yes! Let's fucking go. Goodbye, Rabambi. Okay. No, everyone goes 1 0. So now, Raichu's gonna be too weak, so I need to pivot out. I beat Donphan with Empoleon. I beat Raichu with Noivern. So I have to sack Tauros next. It doesn't matter if he goes for sub or anything, because I'm Infiltrator on my Noivern. I will not risk the Hurricane here. It is too valuable. So I need to go sack Tauros. Thunderbolt is free for him. So Tauros will go on in one and one. Raichu will go 2 0. There's no shot that I live here, so. Big intimidate. Thunder, and he just connects. <laughs> sure. Okay. My air balloon is still intact on Napoleon. So it basic the, the game basically comes down to this. Uh, is two U turns enough to kill? No, nah, it's that's there's no point. There's no point. Oh my god, he's choice scarf. <laughs> or yeah, he's he scarf right you, and he did miss. Wow. Noivern goes 2-0. Raichu goes 2-1. Uh, did I have a chance to live that? Noivern. Raichu. Uh, yes, I should have lived. His only out there was to paralyze me or have me miss. So I just... Dr I gotta make sure that I have the right Pokemon left. Okay, my Ampolian is left. I just Draco again for damage. And God willing, I think we've done it, gang. I think we have bounced back. We brought a good team. Draco does connect. Do you die? You don't. He rapid spins. I mean, that's fine, right? Like, I, I don't think that there's any... out here for him. Because he can't... Yeah, he was he has to just play for me to misplay and go and pull in there. 
and so he br can break and then potentially get faster than me. So holy shit. We've done it, gang. We have punched a ticket into finals for the Emerald League. GG's to JK. Fantastic game, my friend. Whew. Wow. That was crazy. That was actually crazy. We got a little bit lucky. Neuvern would have lived the Thunder. Uh, had I gotten paralyzed, things get really interesting. Um, but it, it's hard to know past there. So he got a little bit lucky the first time we played. I got a little bit lucky this time around. That's the way it goes, I guess. Uh, never like to see stuff like that happen, but... I mean, we'll take it. So we're going to play the winner of Expotheosis or Sauce in the finals. We get a little bit of redemption from Showdown and losing to Measly. So hopefully uh, hopefully things go our way. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.